Hey guys, I'm Lloyd from Millennial Oasis. I'm your host today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So um, I guess among all the platinum collectors in the community right now having a really huge dispute among uh, the enthusiasts and the collectors about what is the OC and what is the TC. So today's topic, we are just going to delve in into these subjects and talk about the differences and what kind of dispute they are having and uh, of course our opinions on that and uh, we will just start to talk about what's the definitions of OC and TC. So bear in mind guys, anything that we try to voice out here is only based on our own uh, subjective uh, opinions. We does not represent any part of parties in the Platinum community and we did not represent anyone that's trying to voice out the opinions, okay? So um, yeah, OC actually has the terminology from a really long time ago since uh, all the platform really started collecting plants. If you're really going to uh, Instagram platform, you will see a lot of the Japanese collectors will say that their plant is actually an OC, not TC. So uh, like everyone else, when I started platform collections, I'm really confusing. I'm really confused. I will start to ask amongst all the platform uh, enthusiasts and what's the definition of OC and TC. So for you guys, the information is OC stands for original clone. So what's the meaning of original clone? Let's say today I'm having this plant which is uh, hybridized by me and I name it a Platyserum ABC. So as you can see I have this um, Platyserum pops here. If I try to depop it and then I'm sell it to you, I will say this is the original clone of this Platyserum ABC. So I guess this explains a lot. So jump to the other one, we will talk about the terminology of TC. So TC is a really pervasive word that you use in horticulture market. Everyone using it as um, tissue culture. So TC, TC stands for tissue culture. So um, when we say that this plant is from uh, TC, we will expect that this is a tissue culture plant that mass cultivated by certain seller from a certain continental. And TC plant is really pervasive uh, practice among all the Taiwanese uh, plant collectors, also some plant serum sellers in the market. So TC stands for tissue culture. So how, do, uh, how does tissue culture works is, um, I will take this particular plant, let's say this uh, plant serum ABC, and then I will extract it with the micro propagations through their tissue cells. So I will duplicate them like a photostate machines. So once the tissue culture's mass propagation is successful, you will have mass of them, probably like more than thousands of the tissue cultures from this single mother particular species. So in the market that you can see, tissue culture has a few advantage. It will lower down the price of the particular um, platyserum species, and it also highly available to sell in the market. And yeah, that's the definitions of OC and TC. In my hand here, I have two platyserum here. As you can see, I will not tell you which one is the OC, which one is the TC. So this is uh, the platyserum that I have. I will just, we have a guess what? Uh, what plant do you think this is it? If people following my Carl Rosa and Analysis Instagram, we will have uh, content talk about this plant before, together with uh, Dr. Chong. And also uh, we visited uh, Stachontary Key. So uh, we are trying to see what's the difference of the plants that I have here in my hand. So uh, for your information, the plant is actually called Platyserum Full Moon. So Full Moon Platyserum is actually cultivated by Thailand breeder. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Tongkla. So uh, it's been in the market for certain uh, times already and it's been uh, uh, a plant that every platyserum collectors that wanted for so long and uh, thanks to tissue cultures you can see that it is highly available everywhere so now let's see I don't want to tell you which one is the TC which one is the OC can you guys guess which one is it can I tell right so the difference is actually almost uh, not really obvious I can say that and um, but the only difference is actually the name tag of the plant so come over here and have a closer look. So um, I will start with this one first. 
to put here. As you can see the plants. The white trichomes, you know. The waffle light, fertile fronds. Have closer looks. Okay, so we just put it here. This is another one. Try to have a closer look. The fertile fronds. The waffle here, the fertile fronds. So, can you tell the difference? I believe that um, if I lost an impact, to be honest, I really cannot tell which one is the OC plant and which one is the TC plant. This is actually a tissue culture full moon. But um, I don't know who the seller is, but I bought it from uh, August Fame really long time ago, and he told me he's actually got it from Taiwan. So, and uh, when they tissue culture this platyserum full moon, they name it as uh, platyserum silver salmon. So I will just put a name for you guys to have a look. And this one, I actually got it from a friend of mine and uh, he imported from Thailand. This is the real original clone of platyserum full moon. But can you tell the difference? Not really, right? So, um, just going to talk about why uh, people are so having a such control or so dis uh, dispute about the OC and TC. Some people will think that OC has a more robust um, genetic and tissue culture has a more fragile genetic compared to other plants. I'm not disagreeing with them because uh, tissue culture will have to select a certain species of mother plant. Whether the genetic is strong or not or the plant has a different traits or beautiful traits or characteristics, we don't know. But when the mother plant is selected for tissue culture, so all the tissue culture plants in the market will look almost identical to the mother plants. But for OC, each of the platyserum will grow accordingly to a different form and trait. So if you are getting an OC plant, which is original clone from these particular plants, you will have a highly chances that, and also really likely will look like this plant. So this is the part that I told you, if I sell this to you, it will be OC and uh, you will have a really high chances that your plants, when they mature, it will look exactly like this. Whether the genetic is strong or not, it really depends. And um, probably this plant is more susceptible to some bacterial infections, you know, when it's tissue culture. Then uh, the tissue culture plant where it's more highly prone to bacterial infections. And if this OC plant is more uh, robust and strong in genetic, and um, when the OC that you got, it has a more stronger genetic. This is why I believe, whether it's true or not, we will have to go through some scientific research and discovery. So this is the difference of OC and TC. So um, let me talk about the other things about the dispute and also the controversial is that um, I think it's really um, uh, subjective when you are asking me whether it's good to have TC plants in the market. But I personally think that tissue culture plant is more affordable for certain people because OC, it need time to really grow from a pups to a mother sized plant. So uh, for me, I grow this plant close to about three years. Imagine that if I have to take up the palms, pups and I sell it to you, of course the price will be higher. So for tissue culture, it takes um, a short period of time with a really mass propagations. So the price of course will be lower down relatively. So um, of course we're gonna expect the price will be lower. There's, there's no doubt. And um, if we look into the bright side, it's more highly available to people. So, but uh, from my opinion, I think OC is a way to support the growers and collectors and also um, people that are putting their efforts and time and also their creativity to create a beautiful hybrids. So, uh, like I say, um, whether OC or TC or not, I think it's not really important if you really love the platyserum and you really like to grow them. Like myself, I will actually grow all sorts of platyserum regardless of the TC or OC. But I think OC, like I said previously, is a way to support the growers and also the people that are hybridizing their platyserums to be, to be available in the market for us to collect it. Like uh, Mr. Fong, he created a lot of beautiful hybrids in the market. So uh, to show an appreciation, actually we appreciate the artwork. And um, like recently he launched a few YC Bond, Ray Ray Chong and also Starlight. There's a way to show support uh, as, uh, as uh, collectors to support the growers, so as an as a enthusiast collectors, right, I will actually buy OC from Mr. Fong also. And yeah, 
I think that's all for today, guys. If you think that um, OC and TC really spark some opinions, and so you think there's something you want to share to us, drop a comment below in the comment box. If you like the video, share to your friends, and uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye.